all right guys welcome back to another g auto repair youtube video and today we're working on a 2011 gmc terrain with an ecotech engine gdi and uh this video it's uh actually a follow-up to a previous video that i did a few weeks ago where i was kind of frustrated with the autel uh, uh scan tool where I was trying to do an injector flow test and it wasn't working the way I was expecting it to. So I was kind of upset about that. So I posted a video, see if I can get some input. And I spoke with uh, my uh, guy, Alt uh, my Alto um, supplier, uh, Curtis Harding, um, which is always a huge help. Uh, if you're listening, thanks a lot for all the, all the time that you dedicate every time I call you, when I call you. Um, and if you guys are interested in, in you know, uh, any uh, assistance in, in, in Altel related uh, scan tools you want to buy or something like that, reach out to him or check out his channel at uh, Altel Consultancy. Um, always a huge help. Thanks, Kurt. Um, but anywho, going back to the, uh, to the issue here, I, uh, I, put, I, I put out a video out there because I was kind of confused about the instructions that I was getting for that particular year make and model. It was on a 2012, a year uh, newer than this, Buick Enclave with a uh, V6 GDI, okay? So I was trying to do an injector flow test because I suspected, you know, clogged injectors. And um, the tool wasn't doing what I thought it should be doing. And uh, so I got a little bit frustrated with it. And again, guys, there's nothing wrong with the Altel line. They're great. I've been using them for years. It's just sometimes when you're trying to get something done and it doesn't work the way you're, you expected it to or it should, um, you get frustrated, you know, because then that makes your job difficult. So no tool out there is perfect. I understand that. I, I got some comments about that. I do understand that no tool is perfect, you know, the, nothing to knock tell or any other brand for that matter but anyways I got frustrated I posted a video uh, about the um, the Altel not doing the flow test and uh, I got some comments so it was the way that I that I did the video I guess I gave you guys the misconception that I didn't know what I was doing uh, I, I guess you know and I apologize for that because uh, <laughs> I got some comments saying, oh, that's a training issue. Uh, you know, uh, that test is useless, what you're trying to do. You know, get familiarized with your system and how it's supposed to work and this and bada bing, bada boom, blah, 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 blah. And again, I, I always appreciate you guys' input, and, and I really do. I, I read the comments and whatnot. So I do appreciate everybody's uh, input. But I do know what I'm doing, guys. I know how this system works. I've been doing this for many years. I know how this works. What confused me is that the instructions that the tool was giving me seemed to me like a lot like a traditional flow injector test. Traditional, non-GDI. Which GM is good to put in, in, their, in, their, in their software. They're, 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 they're courteous enough to do that because not many uh, manufacturers do that. So they do that, you, put your, you tap into the low side uh, you tap into the low side, you, you, you indicate which injector you want to test, and then you watch for the, for the pressure drop. Been doing that for years. I know how that works. That's the instructions I was getting to do on a GDI, which is useless. On a GDI, you can't do that because you got the high, the high uh, pressure pump in the way. So that test is useless. Um, unless I'm wrong about that. If you guys know something I don't know, please share. Um, but, you know it's useless because you got that pump in the way you don't get an accurate reading so anyways i i was uh frustrated i kept getting these comments uh some comments not all of them some were actually quite helpful uh saying oh get get, get a get used to the system or training issue get more training on it blah 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 you but yada yada yada, yada. so i want to show you guys what i was expecting to see okay this is a 2011 gmc terrain okay I have no gauges, nothing hooked up other than my scan tool. So what I did on the other one, which is the same thing I'm doing on this one, is you go to fuel system, you go to injector balance, and you get this. I wasn't getting that. 
the tool would do nothing you would hit every button and it would do nothing literally why i don't know i don't know the what kurt said was that sometimes there's gaps in the coverage on a particular test so that's more than likely what's happening here with this particular vehicle there's a gap so you're not going to get that coverage on that particular test you're trying to do um hopefully that gets fixed in the future with updates and stuff so i'll tell if you're listening please fix that thank you please fix that so anyways here you have a four cylinder engine you got one two three four you get a reading of the pressure drop here that's what i was looking for i can hear the engine misfiring and i get a reading i get a three i get a reading four i get a reading so see and they all need to be somewhere you know you're probably gonna have to do it a couple times just to get an average but because it will change but they should all be very close to each other okay that's what i was looking for guys this is what i was looking for okay it's not that i didn't know what was what i was doing you know i know i was tapped into the low side <laughs> I, I know that test is useless i was just following the instructions of the tool maybe they, there was something that i wasn't aware of but you know it was just junk it was useless i, I couldn't do that test on that particular um, uh, year make model because of the gdi but this is what i was looking for right here see this tool has the capacity of doing it it's just there's a there's a gap in the coverage for that year for some reason year make model there there's sometimes vin specific is what uh i was told vin specific um and if they haven't you know put it in that particular vehicle that you're working on you're not going to get that tool you're probably going to get some weird junk like i was getting so this is just a follow-up to that video as always guys thank you so much for your support and, and for your comments and all that you know i do appreciate it it's just i wanted to clarify that because i guess the way i did it i i i miscommunicated i i was trying to be a wise guy and it backfired oh i don't know i don't get it i don't understand what what is going on here and uh, and i guess uh, some of you guys said okay he doesn't know let's help him out he doesn't know and no, I do know it's just that that tool wasn't doing the test that I needed to get done. So, you know, I was a little bit frustrated because I was already uh, behind on, on a bunch of stuff. So uh, it happens to all of us, you know. I'm sure you guys uh, can understand that. But this is how you do it, guys. This is what I was expecting to see. Again, I can't say it enough. I, uh, I, I know that that test was useless on that particular GDI engine. I followed the instructions anyways. The instructions never made any sense to me because I knew that test was useless on, on a GDI. So, you know, you got your low side pressure, your high side pressure on a GDI, and you can't tap in. As, as of right now, I don't know. I think I've heard that there's some adapters you can use to tap into the high, uh, the high side of the fuel system. Um, but you still got to activate the injectors to get a reading. So if your tool doesn't do that then you have to find some kind of manual way of doing it which sucks um hopefully uh we'll be enlightened in the in the future on on that as things come available but uh like and subscribe if you haven't already done so thank you for your support and we'll catch you on the next video ciao